Our weather coverage moves to Amanda Castro, who is live in Seminole County tonight. And Amanda, you spoke with experts on tips to keep your home heated properly and safely during this unseasonably cold weather. Yeah, Lisa, and the biggest tip is start getting your home ready today. Even though we are still a couple days out from that cold snap, experts here at Del Air tell me that you want to turn on that heat. You want to turn your heat on sooner rather than later. Central Florida is getting ready for freezing temperatures. Well, it's not unusual this time of year. There are a few weeks out of the year where it gets really cold and it's upon us now, so I'd recommend getting into heat mode today. Ken Veneziano is the president of Del Air. He says even though the cold snap is still days away, don't wait to turn on your heat. With it in, being in heat mode when it gets really cold on Saturday morning, it's 32, 34 degrees, your system will have to work a lot less harder than it would otherwise. The magic number, 68 degrees if you want to save money. But Martin Caymans, Del Air's quality control manager, says set your heat to a temperature you're comfortable with. Some people like it 72, 73, so 68 is the most efficient money-wise, but comfort is the most important thing to people. If this is the first time you're turning on your heat, don't worry if you smell something burning. It's going to smell. Um, some people say it's very horrible smell, but it won't last long. And your unit's condenser coils could also freeze in the cold temps. Veneziano says that's normal too. It's going to go through a, a, um, a defrosting process where you're going to have steam shooting out and water pouring out, and that's natural. So don't be freaked out. And experts say if you've got a pool, they also suggest turning on that pump overnight and maybe a little faucet drip just so your pipes don't freeze. And they also suggest make sure all your windows and doors are closed. And now is also a great time to remind you to get your heating and cooling system checked out regularly. They suggest twice a year just to make sure that it's running efficiently. Now, coming up at five, we ask how power companies are preparing for that cold snap. I'll have more on that coming up in the next hour. But for now, live in Seminole County, Amanda Castro getting results. News 6.